Hey guys, welcome back to Lifestyle of the Plebe and Nameless. I'm Joan. And I'm Coco. We're back at the Lowe's Garden Center today to do another plant shopping video because summer is like right around the corner. And actually in the south, it pretty much already feels like summer. Yeah. It's so hot. It's so hot. And then after that, I think we're gonna grab some refreshments at a local coffee shop that we found that sells not only coffee, but lots and lots of beautiful plants. Let's go ahead and get started. This Lowe's right here, it has like two sections for house plants, like an indoor section and then an outdoor section. If you're new to our channel, welcome. And if you have not already subscribed yet, please join our channel by hitting that subscribe button. It'll really help our channel grow and we love to have you. And don't forget, it's free. This one looks interesting. I wonder what kind of plant that is. Will it tell us? These usually don't from my experience. But doesn't it look like a fake plant? It does. Well, we know it's real if yeah. it has got new leaves coming in. It it's looks really pretty. pretty. The way it unfurls, it kind of makes me think some sort of a prayer plant. Right, it looks right? kind of like a calathea. Uh -huh. And then these right here, the leaves look really nice. It's like two colors, it's purple in the back. So pretty. Like the shape looks like an aguanema, but then the patterns remind me of the skin dapsis. Yeah, of course it doesn't say either. But these are $26 and it comes with the pots that look really nice. And then this fake mossy stuff. Yeah. Air plants, no. It's a no to you, dude. They know how to style the air plants. They do. Like it makes me want to get one, but I know I'm just gonna kill it. It's interesting that they're putting it in like the sake cups. The vases? Yeah, the vases. These are $8 and it comes in different colors. I look. think they're just trying to do what they can to move the air plants. These will look so good on the table. People think they're salt and pepper. That, that's what I was gonna say too. It's like, doo -doo -doo. $9. Okay. Lowe's is really upping their game on cactus selections. So we've got the Cheetos. I love those. Okay, but what about these? What is that? <laughs> it's like a brain tumor. <laughs> these are $17. And they've got another one right here that's like oh my God. a little bit bigger. It makes me want one. I feel like you would only see these in nurseries, but Lowe's, come on now. Uh, Bilobato wax plant. Let's see. The leaves do feel waxy. So this one is $16 for a little hanging basket. They have this cute lemon lime philodendron up here. I like that size. Not too big, not too small. Is this a lipstick plant? I think so. But $16 too. This one is really full. I like how lush it is. Yeah, it's fuller than that wax plant. Uh-huh. What you got there, Jones? So I found another lipstick plant, but this one's a mini variegated lipstick plant. Ooh. Very yeah, so I guess you can see a little bit on these leaves right here. If you squint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't see it, but. I don't know, like come closer. <laughs> but you'll see like light spots of oh, green. Okay. I think I see more variegation on this one. $16, just like the other one. Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is the first time seeing a ficus this miniature. It's like a miniature ficus. It's really tiny. Right? right? It's like baby, baby, baby. It's really pretty though in the pot that they put it in. Mm -hmm. Like the pastel colors kind of play off of the gray pot. This one is $14. And in those same pots they have Fern here. 
This is a type of peperomia, I think. Yeah, it looks like the obtusifolia, but it's all green. Mm-hmm. I really like it because the leaves are like rounded and it, and grows, it grows super straight. straight. I like that. I like the look of it. It looks very organized. <laughs> I like the pot that it comes in too. And it's just that one. Fourteen dollars. Not bad. Yep. Ooh. This one right here. It's so cute. Not Acacia. It looks very velvety. Yes. It looks like it's fabric. Is this a black dragon? You know, it, it comes in these live trend design pots. But I like it. I've been liking how they pair the plants with the pots lately. I think they're doing a good job. Right? Yeah. I feel like the pots have like a very contemporary design. This one is $16. This pot right here is kind of cute. And it houses a ZZ. $16 as well. This looks like another Peperomia, similar to the one we showed before, but the leaves on this one like are different colors. It's like shaded, like from yellow. Think they're dying? Really? I don't think that's the natural yellow, no. But if it was, it would look good. And the edges too, it's like darker on the edges. There is beauty in death. There is. Come save this one. <laughs> <laughs> look at all the orchids. There's a huge selection. So pretty. Ooh, I really like this one. I love the colors. It's like an ombre orange to a hot pink. And it comes with a crescino on the bottom of it. So these single orchid pots, not in an arrangement, are $28. And these ones over here in arrangement. They're $40. We've got some African violets here. I really like these pink ones. Yeah. They remind me of cherry blossoms. <laughs> you should get one. <laughs> I used to have one, but really? after years, it finally died. <laughs> it finally died. Yeah. These are $6. And even this dark purple one looks really nice yeah, too. Yeah, I think this one looks unusual. It's almost like a bluish purple. It's outstanding. Oh, no. What? You want this? No, I've never seen one flower before. Oh. <laughs> this is so is cool. True. I hate these things. I have them like at home. Yeah, I have one outside. Yeah, outside. And it's continuously making babies and so annoying. Like, every <laughs> year you gotta go dig them up. <laughs> but has yours ever flowered like this before? I don't know. I don't even go out there to look. This looks pretty cool. <laughs> and this one is $16. Don't get it, guys. Don't. And plus, it's poisonous. And it hurts you when it pokes you. It's a terrible plant. And they also have these shingling plants here. I think they're $20. The Rafa de Flora Heidi. This one's pretty nice. It's climbing a lot. And it's on the back side, too. Look at the Swiss cheese plant. I've never been attracted to these though. But I know a lot of people like them. They have them here in a hanging basket. This one looks really big. For $15, that's a good deal. That's a cactus. This one looks kind of cute. The shape of it, it is $7. Oh my God, these, do they really flower like this? These are just fake. Okay. How is it? But these are like real. That's yeah. like the actual flower. They remind me of 4th of July fireworks. Look at this one. Doesn't that look so weird? It Man, does. Lois is getting all kinds of weird cactus. This one is called Thimble Cactus. They have 
play rock and what else? I'm so excited. I always see people find these and I never find them. So many. I want a purple one. Y'all, these go for a lot online because they take forever. Like these are probably over five years old to get them this big. Are you serious? That's not yes. even that big. But you don't understand, they're tiny, tiny, tiny like a like a pin top size when they first grow. That's crazy. So yeah. it takes lots of splits to get this big. I'm so excited. And look, it's an ice plant. These are really cool too. Mimic green plant, but I call them ice plants. They look like ice cubes. Oh, so are you the only one that calls them ice plants? No, nope, it's known as ice plants. Are you gonna get one? I think I'm gonna get a couple of them. I think I want to get this purple split rock and this little green lip up here. Nice combination. I know most people don't. They're kind of controversial, but I love them. What makes them controversial? Because a lot of people think they're ugly. Oh. Yeah. I mean, I can see that. <laughs> they're beautiful. <laughs> this one's funny. Emerald wave. It is wavy. Mm -hmm. I see why they call it that. For six dollars. What is this? John. Oh my god, they're 25% off. Wait, so 25% off of these. Six dollars? Yes. Coco, you that need to so get weird. yourself like another one. Because <laughs> I just bought like two green ones the other day at a different Lowe's. Did they have the 25? No. Oh, no. I paid regular price. <laughs> I feel like I need to bring that back. <laughs> Be like, yo, yo, it's not on sale. Man, that's such a good deal. We didn't even see this before. No. Ah, it's a win. Score. So they have like bigger plants along this walkway. Got lots of palms here. And elephant ears, they have a whole section of elephant ears, big and small. These right here are $25. So are elephant ears and alocasias the same thing? Um, so elephant ears can be two kinds. They can be alocasias or colocasias, and they're both kind of called elephant ears. I'm looking for a colocasia elephant ear, called a giganteum. So those grow bigger than the alocasia ones? They can, yes. They have different types. We have these smaller ones that are $13. And then the humongous ones right here. $65. $65? <laughs> yes. So these can be indoors as well? If you give it enough light, yeah. But I would put it outside. But not in full sun. They don't like full sun. They like like partial shade. Okay. They have some Brazils here as well. For $20, along with the waffle plant. And back here is the heart leaf philodendron. I haven't seen a dog tail cactus at Lowe's before. And it's huge. And it's only $16, what the heck? That's not bad at all. It's a big size. It's a big boy. Mm -hmm. It is. And you've got another one right here that's a little bit more like upright spiky. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, Lowe's is adding some cool stuff this summer. The display at this Lowe's is like on point. Look at this fountain. It looks beautiful. So we're here at the sale section. Pretty much like 50% off original price. Some of them are like not in that bad of a shape. No, it's a really good deal. Yeah, a lot of times I overlook this section because you know, you see some of these right here that aren't too good, but the succulents are quite okay. Yeah, especially the ones that come with the pot. I yeah. mean, it's worth it just to buy it for the pot. Like look at this one, Christmas pot. It's not a Christmas pot. 
It's a plaid pot. It gives off Christmas pajama vibes. Oh, really? I mean, does it not? Uh-uh, not to me. Christmas pajama. No. Yes. <laughs> I don't see it. I love these little rosettes. They're yeah, like little roses in succulent form. I should marry a hybrid. Okay, let's go check out. She already drank it. Okay, I'm gonna drink it too first. Mm. This is good. Guys, we're at Eden Plants in Houston, Texas. It's like a coffee shop, but with plants around everywhere. It's the perfect coffee shop for plant lovers. We both got a matcha latte with oat milk. And I got a maple and basil syrup. And mine is the lavender and bergamot syrup. Matcha itself is already very planty and yeah. with the basil in there. I felt like at a planty coffee shop, I had to get matcha. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. It feels like such an oasis here. You have plants all around you and lots of different seating areas where you're just surrounded by plants. And it's super like Instagrammable. <laughs> Definitely. Really, you can stand at any corner and take a picture and it's like, wow. And it's just very zen. Like you come in and you feel so relaxed. People even like bring their laptops to go work in there, just like a regular coffee shop. And their drinks are so good. They don't sell food, but they do have lots of coffees and teas. And I like how this is not like sweet. No, just a hint of syrup. It's so cool how they have like huge plants, leafy plants in yes. there. And I thought they, like, how could that be real? Like, I was like touching it. <laughs> All the plants here are real. Besides the indoor seating, you can also sit outside. Um, weather is beautiful today, obviously. Yeah. So they have some plants at their front yard and there's benches that you can sit and enjoy your coffee. Lots of picnic tables. This one right in front of us, what is this? Is this a Birds of Paradise? It looks like it. It's huge though. This place is near downtown Houston. Parking was all right. Um, they do have a few parking spaces in front of the store and then there's some on the side of the buildings, but it is downtown, so beware of one-way streets. Yeah, Joan had a mishap. <laughs> but I didn't have any trouble parking and we came here on the weekend. But yeah, I think this is like a really cool place for um, a date, like a oh, coffee date. Yes, oh my God, a coffee date would be perfect here. You can <laughs> get yourself a coffee, like enjoy the ambiance, and then go around and look at plants. You'll have something to talk about yeah. while you're sipping your drink. And if it works out, maybe you can pick out a plant together. Oh my God, you could gift her a plant. Or, or you guys could be like co-shared plant parents. That would be so cute. <laughs> Co-share. This is the first time like I knew something like this existed. I didn't think like they would have. Yeah, I found it for her. I was these like, two girl, together, we like gotta go. coffee shop and plants. But we'll shut up for now and let you guys check out the plants that they have to offer.
So definitely come check out this place if you're ever in Houston because it's so nice and so much fun. If you enjoyed watching our plant shopping video, please give us a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get more plant shopping videos from us. And it really helps to grow our channel. Please, please, please. Thank, Thank you. you. You can find us on Instagram and TikTok at Pleba Nameless. We post lots of content on there as well. See you guys next time on Lifestyle of the Pleba Nameless. Bye. Bye.